today I'm going to be talking about how I pay off my mortgages quickly and efficiently and how you can do the exact same thing. I'm going to share with you my strategies about how I've been able to eliminate debt, create wealth, and how you can do the exact same thing. My name is Troy Kearns. I own over 350 rental units all across the United States. I started working at Burger King at 15 years old, and guess what? Now I don't work there, and now I am teaching guys and gals like yourself how you can quit your nine to five, get a side hustle, start investing in real estate, and say goodbye to your job. So let's talk about one of my best strategies for eliminating debt and building wealth, which is eliminating your mortgage debt. I know a lot of gurus, they say, you know what? Maximize your debt, maximize your credit, maximize, maximize, maximize. They're always bragging about, I got $40 million in debt, I got $50 million in debt, I got $100 million in debt. But guess what? They've never seen any bad times, right? now. If you don't know, now you do. One of the first ways I started investing in real estate was a thing called speculation. If you're not familiar with speculation, I'll tell you what it is. It's called gambling, right? It's thinking that everything goes up in value all the time, especially in hot real estate markets. Well, many of you know that in 2007, eight and nine, that was the crash of the biggest magnitude since the Great Depression. And I'll tell you what I learned. I learned that everybody who's got everything has nothing when everything goes down in value, right? So I learned that having less debt is always a better thing. Always, always a better thing. When you are getting started investing in real estate, and if you're like me and you're like, you know what? I do not want a lot of debt. I don't want to be one of those guys with millions and trillions and gazillions of dollars in debt. I just want to be able to pay off my mortgage soon, get it out of there. And I want to knock this thing down so that I have peace of mind, right? Because let's face it, debt is good, but peace of mind sometimes is better, right? So one of the tricks that I use, which is very simple to do, and I'm going to walk you through it right now. What I do is if I have a mortgage that is, let's say 2,500 bucks, I will take my mortgage and say, well, that's a 30 year mortgage, right? And we know that a 30 year mortgage at 4% amortized over 30 years basically means that you're paying mortgage interest for the first 22 years of that loan. Just understand that. And that's a pretty simple formula, but it is called front loading the mortgage. So the mortgage is front loaded. All of the interest is front on the front end of that loan. Meaning that when you start paying your first year of your 30 years, it's all interest, right? So how do you attack the interest? How do you beat the game, right? If you always pay your minimum payment, whether it's on your mortgage, whether it's on your car payment, whether it's on your credit card, whether it's anything, and there's interest and there's a payment schedule involved, you will absolutely make sure that you maximize the bank or the financial institution's return and you'll minimize your return, okay? Now people are saying, you know what, Troy, that's not completely true. I like to do 30 year mortgages because it cash flows better, but guess what? They have not seen bad times because what happens in bad times is people's rent goes down and people's lifestyle goes down and they can't afford what they could afford previously. And your cash flowing rental property that you have that had little or no equity in it now has none. And your cash flow that you were getting has been reduced because now it's not cash flowing. But if you were proactive, and you took Troy's methodology, which includes paying down your mortgage, which is a very simple rule. And it's really not anything mathematical, right? It is mathematical, but it's not something that you have to put down to a science. It's a very simple rule of thumb that I have used for years and years and years, and it pays down your mortgage in about 11 years, okay? So if it's a 30 year mortgage, it'll pay it down in about 11 years. So what I do, is if your mortgage is say $2,500, you're gonna go ahead and say, you know what? I'm okay paying $2,800. I'm gonna round it up by 300 bucks per month towards principal. But this is how you really get them. So what you wanna do is you want to start and make your first payment right away. And this is one thing that you're always gonna know with banks. Usually they're gonna give you a month and a half buffer to make your first payment. But instead of taking that buffer, what I want you to do is I want you to go to your bank, sign into your online account, and I want you to set up that first payment 
right away. And then set up your next payment to be four weeks after that first payment, but your next payment is the $2,500 plus the $300, which is 2,800 divided by four. That means each week you're making a $700 payment on your mortgage. So we know the interest accrues daily and we know that compounding of interest is how you get killed or how you make a massive amount of wealth in real estate, in business, in life, and all of those things. When you add that extra $300 and you spread it out week by week, so you're basically adding an extra $75 per week. By adding that extra $75 per week, you're gonna pay that mortgage off between 11 and 13 years off faster, right? You're gonna pay it off in 11 or 13 years versus 30. This is something that I have provided in theory. And in fact, I just did it with my Ford Raptor. I actually had scheduled out an eight year note on it and I paid it off in three. Just by rounding up my payment from $1,274 a month to make it 15 divided by four and then paying that payment every week. And then I knocked it out of the park. So just a little bit more money on your principal, a couple more hundred dollars a month, depending on obviously, this is not gonna work if you have a $5,000 mortgage. This is not gonna work if you got a $10,000 mortgage. You're gonna need to do it, you know, like if it's a $10,000 mortgage, you're gonna wanna add extra $1,000 a month, right? And if it's a $5,000 mortgage, you might wanna add an extra $500 a month, right? About 10% is roughly about what you wanna do on top of your mortgage. And then you're gonna to wanna to send that first payment out right away so you're ahead of it. And then you're gonna start sending your weekly payments. If you set that up, and set that up on auto pay through your bank and checking account, then you will never, ever, ever have to worry about sending the payment, making the payment, and you won't have to worry about nothing. When you look at it, you're gonna be like, wow, I can't believe it's only been five years and I only owe this much money left on my mortgage. People who understand the power of compounding interest and the power how to reverse that are gonna get ahead in anything. So my, advice for you is if you are borrowing debt and if you're borrowing money understand the little tweaks that you can do the extra payments that you can make the way you can set up your automatic payment systems and how you can basically set it up so you eliminate your mortgage payment over 10 11 12 13 14 15 years versus 30 years, right? Who wants to pay a mortgage payment for 30 years? And let's think about it. You always hear about those people who are always bragging about, you know, I got a 2.25% interest rate. I got a 3% interest rate. I got this percent interest rate. I just refinanced again. And they've never paid anything down because every two or three years, they're getting a lower rate, which might drop their payment by a little bit. But then what they're doing is they're stretching out their payment again over another five years or over another six years. And so they bring their payment down by $100, but what they're really doing is they're not bringing any of their balance down, right? And that's where you make the money. If you pay stuff down, when you go to sell, you owe a lot less, right? And so if you're constantly concentrating on not only acquiring new properties, but paying down debt, then you're going to be a disciplined investor. And a lot of you guys know that I hate Dave Ramsey. Check out that video. But one principle that I do agree with him is being on a budget and managing your finances, right? And debt is not a bad thing, but you gotta understand that if you don't manage it, if you don't pay it down, you will be in debtor's prison and it may just be a 30 year mortgage. It may be a 40 year mortgage. In fact, if you go and ask the rest of the countries, we're like the USA and we're like one of the only countries with a 30 year mortgage. So that just means we're a credit driven society that if we can finance it, we will. And that's the end of it. So if you're getting started in investing in real estate, make sure you understand how you can pay off your mortgage early, efficiently, and with common sense, practicality. Make sure you're getting started in investing in real estate. I'll talk to you in the next one. Peace.